from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE, covering open systems. The future is crystal clear with security and SD-WAN. Brought to you by Open Systems. Hello everyone, welcome back to theCUBE. We are here in Las Vegas in the Cosmo Hotel in the Chandelier Bar, part of Open Systems, a get together, kind of a, a, a session of smart people gathered, all part of a big week here in uh, Vegas. Gardeners having a big event, a lot of things happening. We are at Martin Bossard, who's the CEO of Open Systems, who's hosting the event. Thanks for coming on theCUBE. Thank you. Thanks for joining me. Okay, Thank so I got to get this out there. You guys are in Switzerland, headquarters. You just established big presence in Silicon Valley. Right. And you're expanding rapidly in Silicon Valley, so congratulations. Thank you. Explain what you guys do, how you started, where you come from, and what's the story of Open Systems? Well, very originally we started as a managed security service provider in, uh, and managed security infrastructure. And we learned, that especially if you do in the financial services security infrastructure, if you try to update, you need to go into those uh, data centers and that's harder to get in there. Like It's like entering North Korea. <laughs> so yeah. so we, we learned how to operate that stuff remotely and that really brought us uh, in more than 180 countries uh, especially with industry companies. Uh, industry, they, manufacturing, they, they started to uh, globalize their value chains and that really uh, helped us to globalize our footprint. And obviously to do that, we used SD-WAN. So we, we definitely came from the security space, but today we are the largest SD-WAN, standardized SD-WAN platform with a fully integrated security stack. So how so big is the company, good. roughly people-wise? What's uh, We good? are 200 plus people currently, and uh, 50 plus million revenue this year. And how big, how, um, sounds like the customers are really large, complex data centers with a lot of offices and facilities. Is that your makeup of your customer base right now? Uh, our customer base really is, I, I think, I mean, obviously financial services, that's, that's always, if you, if you start in, in, in Switzerland, a company, the financial services are very important, but then also uh, industry, manufacturing, especially companies with globalized uh, value chains are very interested in our services because you have uh, serious complexity from a regulatory point of view, but also from operational point of view to operate SD-WAN in a secure way. So, so this is really our sweet spot. So explain the difference between SD-WAN, old way, and the new way. Because SD-WAN you know, was simply connecting branch offices together, you know, basic networking stuff, I mean, basically connect connectivity. So today is much more complex. What's the difference between the SD-WAN environment today? Because there's a resurgence with SD-WAN, with cloud computing, with um, the internet, obviously with secure issues. It's a whole different ball game. Explain the difference between the old way yeah. and the new way. Again, well, the old way was <laughs> you just connected locations and then you, you piped you piped traffic through a, through a VPN, right? And I think we, we learned a lot about what SD-WAN is really capable to do when we start to work for uh, the, the NGO space, when you use a lot of satellite traffic. It's very expensive to pipe everything through the satellite. So you, you need to slice the traffic into important stuff less important stuff, and then you decide what are you going to route through the satellite and what are you going to route terrestrial. Uh, and this is really where, where, where the whole magic of SD-WAN comes from. You, you, you suddenly have the, the freedom to route traffic application-based in a very different way. So you, you're not bound to protocols anymore, so you really can route your Office 365 traffic different than your Facebook traffic, you can route, uh, uh, you can prioritize. So you can differentiate so. between the traffic types first. That was the first uh, discovery. That, that was important for us because we, we managed infrastructure and obviously you don't want to conge create congestion by yeah. managing infrastructure. So uh, it is really about what traffic is important, what traffic is time critical yeah. uh, and, and route depending on, on the application needs, yeah. traffic differently. Yes, cost is always a big motivator um, for, for cost innovation. Cost performance, it's always <laughs> cost of performance, right? <laughs> so I get that, it's awesome. Uh, and, and by the way, that's how startups figure out innovations. They don't have a lot of capital. They figure it out by being effective and making things work. When did the security piece click in for you guys? 
when you guys saw SD win, when was the moment you said, okay, we're going to do all these things to save costs and do this kind of routing, this, you know, this kind of policy-based, kind of, I'm oversimplifying, but you know what I'm saying. When did security become important? Was it from the beginning? Was it a discovery? Was it uh, something that was a, uh, you just caught the wave? Explain how you guys became so prolific in your product with security. I mean, but we, we, we definitely, you know, we came sort of from the security space and the SD-WAN was something we used to operate uh, security infrastructure. So it's maybe, a, we looked at it a, a little different, but at the end of the day, SD-WAN, it creates so much opportunities for companies and I believe the whole cloud movement is creating so many opportunities for, for companies to move fast, to, to, to create growth. Uh, also, if you think IoT, it creates whole different business models yeah. for almost all enterprise organizations. Talk about the business model, that's important because, I, okay, finish your thought. Yeah, and, and the, now the, the, the question is, how can you bring, how can you embrace all that growth business with uh, managing the risks? And, and that's what's happening right now. Uh, we, we help customers to combine the, 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 the security. So one of the things we were here last week for Amazon reInvent, big event for Amazon Web Services, and they announced an on-premise product. No one thought they were ever going to do that. So I asked the CEO there what he, why this, they were doing that. Essentially he said latency kills. Certain latency is now the new problem. You, know, you learned that from the satellite situation where you know, cost and latency are, are really important factors in determining how you architect things. But then you realize that the business models are shifting. So I got to ask you, as you have need for security and low latency, people are looking for direct connections, they don't want to route traffic through the internet, who knows where, where it's going to go through China, there's all these hidden uh, that, problems. Yeah, and, and it, it, you know, I, I agree basically, latency kills, but I also disagree because there are applications where latency is not an issue, like email. You, yeah. you, I mean, you couldn't care less about latency on yeah. email. But, In fact, don't deliver it. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but at the same time, it, it's really important that a network understands not only how it routes, it also understands what it routes. Uh, and that's the, the power of SD-WAN. So you really can route different applications in different routes. Right time, right place kind of thing. Exactly, and then it depends where it's consumed, where it's delivered, and, and where do you, where do you uh, route those. Talk routes. about your business model now. You got a US, why the US expansion? Is it right for growth? Is it a natural progression? What's the strategy? Why U.S. expansion? Uh, actually, what, what we see, you know, the U.S. is moving very fast to the cloud right now, and and this is a, a an opportunity for us to to really support that that uh, I would call it transformation. It's really an industry transformation that's happening right now, and and uh, we just in Europe maybe the to bring down costs and connectivity, that's still more of a, of a business driver, and obviously that, that's always exciting to bring down costs, but if you, if you move to the cloud, you really have to rethink your network structure, and also you have to rethink your security posture. So, so this is just a window of opportunity. Mark, I got to ask you, obviously, I've been kind of checking around in Silicon Valley on you guys. You guys got a good vibe and good buzz. Certainly, great reputation in Switzerland, great product, great work but you're attracting kind of new talent from the Bay Area, Cisco in particular, a lot of these uh, the, the, you know, high, high power people, networking guys, developers. Who are you guys looking to attract into, the, into your office and as you expand? I know you got a lot of openings. Um, it's not a recruiting plug, but I mean, as you look for, to put the team together, right. what are you guys looking for? What's the kind of individual, what's the culture of your company? What's the kind of things people can expect if they work there? I mean, we are, we are focused on, we, we just want to create the most, the most amazing networks uh, in a secure way, and and I, I believe this is very attractive. What we created the last couple of years, uh, and that's also attractive for talents in in Silicon Valley. But but obviously it's a competitive market, but it's all over the world. It's a competitive market, and I believe, especially going to the market and understanding what 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 the world needs. That's very powerful in Silicon Valley. Yeah. The ecosystem is very powerful. So, so for us, it's clear we want to be there. We want to. We yeah. want to play a role. A role. Well, that's awesome. We're looking forward to, to doing more content. Final question for you: If you could have to nail down the core problem that you guys are trying to solve as the world evolves, the landscape threat landscape continues. The world's going global. Uh, you're seeing all kinds of needs for all kinds of intelligence. What? Now the top problems that your team is working on to continue to iterate on and solve? What are the, the big 
big things that you're trying to nail down? We want to make it for a customer very easy to consume a secure SD WAN. And that sounds maybe simple, but it's not. Mm -hmm. To operate an SD WAN in a secure way is really a challenge. <laughs> so most companies operate like 40, 50 different products to achieve that. Yeah. And with us, it's like subscribing a service. Very and just simple. quick, quick plug, last last minute. What you guys? What's your product? It's because you deal with multiple vendors. This is a SaaS product, on-premise, cloud. What's it's, that? It's a SaaS, SaaS on-prem, available, and it's available in all major cloud providers like Azure and uh, Amazon. So it's it's in all cloud premises working. Uh, You're literally cloud. Switzerland for the cloud. Yeah, I mean, I mean yeah. <laughs> They use that expression in the United States a lot. Yeah. We're Switzerland, we're neutral. We're Swiss, we're, yeah, we are neutral. We are, we are actually very neutral. And no, but seriously, you can work with, if I'm the customer, right. I have multiple clouds, I have multiple vendors, I have a ton of security products, yeah. can I use you guys? Right, yeah, it's, it's simple. And we, I mean, we are, we are really a platform, so we, we use many, many security products and orchestrate, so they work together. What are the common things you hear from customers um, that have been successful with you. Um, and I don't want to say single pane of glass, that's an old uh, IT expression, but the world has to be smarter, faster, dashboard oriented, AP, hardened APIs, a lot of data traversal. Right. What's the ideal end, end state for your customers when you guys are successful? The, you have to repeat that question. The, what's if the I'm idea? a customer, what's the value proposition to me? Am I saving time? Am I integrating oh. multiple devices? I, you save a lot of time, <laughs> you save a lot of money, <laughs> And, and I, I believe the most important thing is uh, we are we, we see ourselves as a as a weapon in a war for talents. It's just Im impossible for our customers to find the talents to really operate that stuff in a good way, and we make that much easier. So obviously you cannot outsource security, but you can yeah. make security easy, manageable, uh, and, and that's where, where we and operational, we make it work. And operational and make it work, and, and yeah. that, that's I, I believe the key really. Well, Martin, congratulations on the, um, the expansion strategy. Real quick, what's going on in Vegas for you guys here? What are you guys here talking about? What's the big What's the big story here for you guys? Well, we, basically, obviously, we, we you know we, we we grow very fast, so we also use this to 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 bring together uh, people, but then yeah. also everybody's here right now. Yeah. Uh, it, it's great to, to see vendors, it's great to see partners, it's great to see competitors. Uh, so it, it's just important to, right. to understand the market. And it's also, uh, they're the worst place in the, in, in the world to be. Yeah, and build like, those relationships. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming on theCUBE, really appreciate Th it. Thank you so I'm much. I'm here with the CEO of Open Systems, I'm John Furrier with theCUBE. We are here at the Chandelier Bar at the Cosmo. We're just getting started. We've got a couple, bunch more interviews. Some of the customers just had the FBI on. Really important conversations around security, cyber security, enterprise security, and how to make SD-WAN work. We'll be right back with more. Stay with us after this short break. Oh.